Imagine you are living in a town you visited years ago. This time the roads are wider, new houses stand everywhere, and shops have doubled. But pause for a moment. Where did all the bricks, cement, wood, and metal come from? Every single thing around us comes from natural resources. And the truth is, these resources are not unlimited. That's why we need something very important, sustainable management of natural resources. Natural resources are things we get from nature, forests, wildlife, water, coal, petroleum. But why manage them? Sustainable management means using resources in a way that meets our needs today without destroying the needs of tomorrow. To manage resources wisely, remember the five R's. Refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose, and recycle. Refuse. Say no to things you don't need, like single-use plastic reduce. Use less. Switch off lights. Don't waste water. Don't waste food. Reuse. Use things again. Jars, bottles, envelopes. Repurpose. Use an item for a new purpose. Cracked cup as a plant pot. Recycle. Convert old glass, metal, paper, plastic into new items. Forests are biodiversity hotspots, home to thousands of plants, animals, birds, insects, and microbes. But forests are not just trees. They are life support systems. When we talk about forests, four groups of people are involved, called stakeholders. One people living in and around forests, they depend on forests for fuel wood, fodder, fruits, medicines, bamboo grazing. Two, the forest department. They officially own and manage forests. Three, industrialists, paper mills, timber industries, sports goods. They use forest produce for profit. Four, wildlife and nature lovers, people who want forests preserved in natural form. For centuries, Indian communities like the Bishnoi have protected forests and wildlife. In 1731, Amrita Devi Bishnoi sacrificed her life to save the Kedri trees. The Chipko movement began in the 1970s in Rini village of Garwal. When loggers came to cut trees, village women hugged the trees and saved them. In Arabari, West Bengal, villagers helped protect 1,272 hectares of sal forest. In return, they got employment and 25% of the final harvest. This partnership made the forest grow back beautifully. Water is a basic need. Even though India receives monsoon rains, Many places still face water scarcity due to loss of vegetation, overuse, pollution, growing population, large dams store water for irrigation, drinking, electricity, flood control, but they also create problems. Problems with large dams, social, people displaced without proper rehabilitation, economic, Huge cost, fewer benefits. Environmental, deforestation, and biodiversity loss. This is why movements like Narmada Bachao Andalan happened. Traditional water harvesting is simple, local, and effective. India has used it for thousands of years. These systems recharge groundwater prevent floods, and make villages self-dependent. Coal and petroleum are fossil fuels formed millions of years ago. They are non-renewable and will eventually get exhausted. That's why we must use them judiciously. You can make a real difference. Save electricity. Save water. Avoid plastic. Switch to 
LED bulbs. Use bicycles or walk short distances as a student. Join eco clubs. Spread awareness. Avoid wasting paper. Plant trees. Let's recap the chapter. Natural resources must be used sustainably. Five R's. Refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose, recycle. Dot forest stakeholders, local people, forest depth, industries, nature lovers, Chipko movement, and Arabari model. Water scarcity causes dams, uses, and problems. Traditional water harvesting methods. Coal and petroleum are limited and polluting. Use all resources carefully and responsibly.